Oh, hello there. Going to uh, do my NBA picks here for uh, Sunday, December 27th, as the games are going to start pretty soon. Uh, go over what happened yesterday. Went 5-5 five and five to run my record to 15-14 and 14 on the young season. Um, Ten more games on the slate today. Some There's some anomalies that we'll go over, but uh, we'll make this one a very fast one. Um, in the afternoon game, Mavericks are going to go um, to L.A. and they're going to play the Clippers. Um, Porzingis is still out for the Mavs. Um, Leonard is out for, with a mouth issue. Um, that's, a, that's a major loss for the Clippers. I'm going to take the Mavericks on the road in this game, uh, simply, simply on the backs of that. I think the Mavericks are going to be very, very good when Porzingis comes back, but um, I'm not sure not sure what the timetable on that is. I've got to dig into that a little bit. Second game, as you get into the late afternoon, is the Magic uh, going to D.C. to play the Wizards. Uh, Russell Westbrook is going to be on load management. Now, any of you guys that know me well, you know what I think load management should stand for. Load management in the NBA means I want a day off. Millions doesn't you know, make me want to play 80, 81 games or 82 games, excuse me. But um, what I think load management is, is when you need to load, you need to manage, manage what you do in a bathroom. Number two, in fact. Okay. Sometimes you got to go, you better, you better go. You gotta you gotta manage that load. You know what I'm saying? It's worth it's worth that much. I I hate the aspect of load management. I think it's ridiculous. These guys these guys should be playing a lot a, a lot more games per year. But uh, Russell Westbrook evidently is very tired already and needs to rest. Problem is that him not, him not playing makes the Wizards a very bad team. All right, we'll, we'll race through the rest of them. Nets are going to go to Charlotte. Um, they're going to outclass the Hornets, that's for sure. Um, Nets are playing extremely well on the new, on the new season. Spurs are going to go to New Orleans and play the Pelicans. Spurs are spreading the ball out. The, spread the, the point distribution is, is incredibly good. The more I look into this team, it, it's a weird roster to me, but it, it, it's, it's, working, it's working so far. So I'm going to take the Spurs over the Pelicans. I do think it's going to be closer because Zion's... Zion Williamson's playing fairly possessed. And um, we'll see if he can stay healthy. 76ers are going to Cleveland. Um, Love's still out with a with a calf issue. He's on a more of a day-to-day -day issue. Um, I'm going to take 76ers on the road. They're playing well. Cavaliers without Love is not, not going to be a good thing. Bucks are going to go to New, uh, to New York to play the Knicks. I think that's... That's a fairly easy win for the Bucks. Celtics are going to Indianapolis to play the Pacers. A um, couple notes I have on that game. Walker is out with his left knee issue. The Pacers The Pacers have only beaten the Knicks and the Bulls so far. I'm going to take the Celtics in this game. Uh, they're a little They're probably a little better than their record suggests so far or, or their their results have, have have done this this first week. I'm going to take the Celtics on the road against the Pacers. Um, so it's been all, all road teams so far. It's like Road Warrior Day. So we come to the Warriors. Warriors are going to go to Chicago to play the Bulls. Now, the Warriors have lost two to, to upper echelon teams. Um, and they do have an extra, they have one more day of rest than the Bulls who played yesterday. Um, however, I'm going to take the Bulls because they're at home. And because the Warriors, they, they just there's just something something's not right with them. A lot of that is Draymond Green not playing not playing so far, but also the fact that they lost Clay Thompson. I think that has has, has really decimated them. So I'm going to take the Bulls uh, for their first win of the season. Um, couldn't all be roadies. I'm going to take the Sun the Suns over the Kings in Sacramento as this is a two day. Uh, two day trip there in, in, in Sacramento. They, they, they followed them up. So they took the Suns and they put them on the schedule for two consecutive games in Sacramento, uh, which is really, really odd. And I've never seen that before. I, I, I picked the Suns yesterday. The Kings beat them. 
I'm going to say I'm going to stick with the Suns because I figure they'll split. They're, they're two pretty evenly matched teams at this point. Timberwolves are going to go to the Lakers. Davis is out. Anthony Davis is out with a calf strain uh, for the game. Um, what I've seen out of the out of the Lakers is in moments like these, LeBron takes over. You'll see a 35 or a 40 or 45 point game out of him, maybe even a tripped up. Um, and they do have a deep roster, so somebody will slide in and and um, and compensate somewhat for what Davis was doing. But LeBron is that good that he can just he can just will them to a win on this one. It's going to be close, and I I did contemplate taking the Wolves. If this was in Minnesota, I might even take the Wolves in an upset um, over the Lakers. But I'm going to take the Lakers in this game. So to go back over them, I'm taking the Mavs. All these on the road. Mavs over the Clippers. Magic over the Wizards. Nets over the Hornets. Spurs over the Pelicans. 76ers over the Cavs. Bucks over the Knicks. Celtics over the Pacers. At home, I'm going to take the Bulls over the Warriors. On the road, I'm again, I'm taking the Suns over the Kings, and I'm going to take the Lakers over the Timberwolves. Okay? Enjoy the games. Have a happy Sunday. Like, share, subscribe. Share especially. Comment. All that stuff. Oh, let's get real. Let's get after it. Peace out, me homies. See ya.